Hello, and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren, and I'm an application engineer here at TPM. Today we're going to look at a few different wall tools. Specifically, we'll look at the ways we can add sweeps and reveals to walls. First, we'll use the wall sweep and wall reveal tools to add our sweeps and reveals to the face of an existing wall. Then we'll leverage the type properties and add sweeps and reveals to a wall's definition. Wall sweeps are additive and wall reveals are subtractive, meaning Wall sweeps extrude a profile along a path and add geometry to a wall. Inversely, wall reveals use the same modeling process to create a void that cuts into the wall. Place a sweep on the face of a wall by picking the wall sweep tool and picking a wall face to host the sweep. To place a reveal, pick the wall reveal tool, then pick a wall to host the reveal. Picking multiple walls during this pick process adds additional wall links to the reveal or sweep. Once in place, we can adjust the location of the geometry on the wall by using a move function. The grips that appear on either end of a sweep can be used to adjust the sweep's length. Additionally, we can create relationships between our sweeps and other facade elements using the Align tool. Pick a sweep or reveal and use the Add Remove Walls tool to add entire wall segments to the element's run. This tool also removes entire wall segments from a sweep's path. We can use the type selector to quickly swap out our sweep for any other predefined sweep type. Finally, we can add returns to a sweep or reveal by selecting them and using the modify returns tool. Once activated, use the X-Acto knife to pick an end of the sweep and place the return. Then use the grip to set the length of the return. You can use a sweep with the right profile in conjunction with the Align and Modify Return tools to create a window apron. Let's reveal how we can use the wall's type properties to add sweeps and reveals to a wall's definition. Start by picking an existing wall and clicking on the Edit Type button. Then, next to Structure, Click the Edit button to activate the Edit Assembly window. In a previous 4-Minute Friday, I discussed the basics of working in the Edit Assembly window as well as adding extensions to our wall type properties. If you're unfamiliar with this window or how to use the wall layers, please check out this video link. Use the Sweeps button to open the Wall Sweeps window. Click Add to place the first wall sweep on the wall. Then define the sweep by choosing a profile, applying an appropriate material, and setting the offset distance from either the top or the bottom of the wall. Before we move on, let's take a quick look at the cuttable parameter. Toggle this parameter on if you want the sweep to be cut by inserts like doors or windows. The sweep shown on the left is cuttable and is cut by the window's insert. Inversely, the sweep on the right is not cuttable and is not cut by the window. From this window, we can place a parapet cap on the wall by using the parapet cap profile with an offset of 0 inches from the top of the wall. Click Apply to check your work in the Wall Preview window. Click OK to exit the Wall Sweeps window. Now that we've added some sweeps, let's add a reveal. The workflow for adding reveals is very similar to adding sweeps. Click the Reveals button to activate the Reveals window. Then use the Add button to place the first wall reveal definition and set the reveal's properties. Set an appropriate offset and use Apply to review your work. Click OK to accept the reveal and return to the Edit Assembly window. Click OK twice more to close out the Edit Assembly window and apply changes to the selected wall. I hope this video has given you a little more insight on how to use sweeps and reveals in Revit. My name is Dan Warren, and I would like to thank you for joining me for today's 4-Minute Friday. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope you have a great day.